Pete, uh, talking about the uh, you talk about the passion for the game and showing up every day. Both of you guys have kind of referred it tonight. There's a there was a, a tweet that came out recently. Uh, uh, baseball photos. Um, I follow follow it pretty religiously. They, they they run a lot of photos. There's a great photo of you rounding third base, and it's one of those uh, uh, typical photos of you in action. Your your hats off. The, your your uniforms in disarray. Your hair's flowing back. Uh, you were flying, obviously, toward home plate. What was interesting about this photo from 1979, it was a spring training game. <laughs> what, what the hell's the difference? There's my question. I mean, I, I played aggressively. I didn't play reckless, okay? And I told you about 15 minutes ago, my obligation as a player was to give you try to give you your money's worth, okay? You had other ways you can spend your dollar. And every game was important to me, whether it was a spring training game trying to make the team or a World Series uh, game trying to win the World Series. And it, uh, you just got to play hard. You're only out there two and a half hours. Be out there, go, bust your ass for two and a half hours. Well, everybody in a big red machine busted their butt. I wasn't the only one that played hard. Morgan played hard. <laughs> Bench played hard. I mean, Bench played hard, but if he's on first, it takes a triple to score him. <laughs> no, I remember one time I was playing in the Astro. This is a funny, true story. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a Friday night game, and I got, I'm single at the time, and I got a girl from California flying in to spend the weekend and go to the Dome and watch the games. And I can't go pick her up. In those days, you could go out to the gate, okay? So I send my buddy out. He says, well, what does she look like? I said, man, she'll be the best looking chick on the plane. Don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> so he goes out, he's waiting at the gate, and the gate opens up, and the fifth person off the damn plane is Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> and this dumb son bitch goes up to her. <laughs> I said, man, I'm making 12,000 a year, she's in coach. And later on in life, I was doing a thing with Ryan O'Neill in Cincinnati, and he was married to Farrah, and he called her up. She said, you tried to pick me up one night in Houston, didn't you? <laughs> That's my Houston story. <laughs> Farrah, she was a Charlie's Angel at the time. She was from Houston. Did you know she was from Houston? I thought she was from Corpus Christi, actually. Well, she's from Texas. That <laughs> Smart ass. I'm sorry, she I didn't mean to correct She you. flew into Houston. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas J. Henry could have told you that. She's from Corpus Christi. <laughs> Nolan, you played 27 <laughs> years, which is unheard of, if, I, if my arithmetic is correct. Uh, Pete, you played 24 years. Uh, Derek Jeter retired uh, just a few months ago, 20 seasons under his belt, and a national columnist wrote, there will never be a time when a player will play 20 years again in today's climate. Playing that long, Nolan, what... Do you agree with that, or it, it was the era what kind of spurred you to play that long or enabled you to do that? Well, uh, the way I look at that, and, and I don't know how Pete feels about it, but I'm going to guess he's going to feel pretty much the same way I do, is that, yeah, there's a chance there's players going to play that long because they have a passion for the game. They love the game. Uh, they're still being successful at it. That doesn't mean they'll stay with one team like Derek did with the Yankees or, or Biggio did with the Astros. The chances of seeing that where somebody comes in and has a 20-plus or 20-year-plus career playing for the same organization, I'd say there's less chance of that than having a guy play 20 years because, you know, you take Pete, if he, he just hit the big leagues now, you know, with his mindset, his attitude about the game and his passion for it, he would play as long as he could until he just couldn't play any longer. I, I, I don't think teams are going to be able to afford guys to play 20 years. Because if you're talking about a 20-year player, especially someone who's going to chase an always uh, strikeout record or my hit record, you've got to be a pretty good player. Okay, and if you're a pretty good player after three or four years, you're going to get up into that 25 or 30 million. How can you pay a guy 25 or 30 million for 15 years? I mean, there's been guys signed $300 million contracts, but you're not going to sign a $700 million contract in baseball. And, and, and as you know or may not know, uh, Americans, uh, life is fun. 
And baseball players, most baseball players today that are really good players, got anywhere from 100 to 200 million in the bank. They don't want to play when they're 38, 39, 40. They don't want to travel. They don't want to live in hotels. They want to have fun in life. They already established yourself as baseball players. And I just don't think anybody will play that long. It's not because we're superhuman, although we are. <laughs> but we just, we're, we were, God gave us bodies that was, that enabled us to play. He, he pitched no hitters after he was 41 or 42. I led the league in hits when I was 40 because of our dedication to the game. And we were lucky. We were lucky because you don't have that many starts in baseball or that many at-bats in baseball if you get injuries. You know, to die, to, today guys get an ingrown toenail and they miss three weeks. <laughs> you know, they got a shoulder, they got a bump in the shoulder and you think it's cancer. I mean, it's just the way it is. They, they don't have to play today because they got multi-year contracts. We had to play every day. You're going to go in and negotiate your next year's contract and say, well, I did get 160 hits. Big deal. We played 162 games. Well, I did score 75 runs. You got to score 100. You got to get 200 hits. You got to hit 300. You got to lead the league in strikeouts. You got to make the all-star team. You got to win player of the month, player of the uh, week, player of the year. You got to do those things to get your, to have something to negotiate with. You know, we, it was tough. It was tough. We were, Cincinnati was the last team that enabled representation to represent a player. We were the last team. So can you imagine me sitting there as a 23-year-old kid who just got 200 hits and hit 320, and I got the president of the team, okay? I got Nolan Ryan sitting there, the president of the team. I got his son sitting there, the general manager of the team. I got his other son sitting there, the, 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 the guy that runs the damn team. And they're just telling me how bad I am. That's the way they did it, wasn't it, Nolan? They just they tear you down. They just tear you down. And what are you going to say? Oh, I'll go somewhere. Where are you going to go? Japan? I played, in, I played in Japan. Ishii rode my ass. I mean, I mean they, they forgot I got about 600 hits in the minor leagues, too, if you want to add them to my total, because they're adding his Japanese hits to his total. I played, in, I played Japanese baseball. It, it, it's, a, it's a strong AAA. It's a strong AAA uh, league. That's what it is. And I admire the way they work. They work hard, and they play hard. And there's some really good players, and there's some good players in the major leagues from Japan. But I don't want nobody to compare Japanese baseball with major league baseball, okay? It's, it's not gonna work with me. I'm defending my hit crown right now. 